Hello and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, my name's Lauren. Me and my friend Maya went to this new coffee shop today called Han. And it's basically how they describe it is coffee and Korean flavors meet at Han. And I got a Korean style coffee. It was so delicious. Let me tell you which one it was. It was called the SJ Ice Latte. And it's a twist on traditional Korean beverage sweet with mild cinnamon spice. It tasted so good kind of like i think there was a sweet potato like a dried sweet potato in like on the top of my coffee it tasted like a sweet potato coffee i know that might sound like weird with cinnamon and it was delicious like i will strictly go back for that coffee and just the vibes of the place were so good and i love these new little coffee shops restaurants that orlando is starting to bring in and open up it's really exciting and um i'm so down to try them all now i am it's saturday so yesterday i had off work for good friday and today is saturday so i'm doing all my errands today because tomorrow is easter so things are closed so i'm about to pick up my prescription and then i'm gonna head to publix i'm gonna make a cheese board for tomorrow's easter gathering with my family and i'm just gonna pick up a few of those things for that and then all of my groceries for the week so i wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog welcome you back i had full intention on starting the vlog yesterday but i only vlogged a little bit so a couple vlogs ago i got the mike's hot honey on pizza at the pizza place that we went to and so i ordered or i got like a bottle of it from like target for target pickup and i'm gonna put it on my breakfast this morning i'm getting bagels cream cheese and i'm gonna put the honey on top and everything but the bagel seasoning and i'm so excited so we're gonna try that yeah so i'll let you guys know how that is but the mike's hot honey is just so incredible i just have a feeling that i'm gonna be putting it on everything because it's so good like i'm always gonna put it on pizza i can't wait to try it on this bagel and yeah if you haven't tried it you definitely need to try it if you like sweet spicy just it's so delicious anyways i'm gonna head in to cvs and then head to the grocery store okay i just got home from publix i am not gonna do a grocery haul i just put a majority of the stuff away except for a few things that are new that i got that i'm excited to share with you guys so the first thing are these packets of rice the rice cooked in bone broth and the ingredients are really good they're cooked with avocado oil so I'm excited to try these. It has protein and collagen. I also saw this. We've tried their like chicken. I think it's like a Korean style chicken before. We got it from Costco and they had like a whole section of Kevin's brand of like different foods. So I saw these mashed potatoes. Thought it'd be a good side dish, like an easy one. Next is this cauliflower mac and cheese. And I thought it'd be just like a nice healthier side as opposed to actual mac and cheese. <laughs> but I'm just trying to switch up the side options. We do keep the proteins the same and I switch up the sauces and things like that or the way that we cook them. So I kind of wanted to switch up the side options this week. So I got these two to try and it's just easy, something you can like cook in the I think you can cook them in the microwave or oven so i thought these would be nice little switch ups just different flavors to have as a side dish i also saw this on tiktok japanese barbecue sauce i really want to cook our salmon in it so marinate it for salmon one night maybe this week so i got that and i'm so excited about this i love grape soda grape flavored things i'm like that weird person that likes grape and orange flavored sodas i think they're so good so poppy just released a grape flavor and i really want to try it i'm so excited about it so i got a couple of those and then here's the mike's hot honey that i was talking about earlier today so we're gonna put these bagels with cream cheese and then the Mike's Hot Honey and everything but the bagel seasoning. And that's gonna be our breakfast. Um, I have bacon in the oven and I'm gonna cook some eggs as well. So I'm really excited about this. Okay, here is the bagel. So just these plain Dave's Killer Bread bagels, chive and onion, cream cheese, everything but the bagel seasoning and then the hot honey on top. So I'm gonna taste test it. One, two, three. I think it's good. It has a lot of flavor. Definitely recommend. Okay, it's 
later in the day. We're about to head out for dinner. We're going to this new place that opened up in Winter Park Village called Bar Italia. Christian went there earlier in the week with his boss for lunch. So we're gonna try it for dinner. I've never been and I'm really excited. Apparently it's from like Ohio and they brought it down to the Orlando area. And I've been waiting for all of these new restaurants to open up because Winter Park Village has been under construction for a little bit now. So this one's open, it's super cute. I'm really excited and I'm in the mood for Italian food. So that's where we're going. We did a reservation for 6.45 and I just threw on a little comfortable outfit. This top is from Cuts. It's their tomboy tee cropped. And then I have this lariat necklace from Lily Class. And I don't know if it's still available anymore, but I know that these pants are, and these are my favorite pants. They're from Abercrombie and Fitch and they're actually PJ pants and I have them in two colors. And I like them because they're meant to fit, I think a little bit more cropped, but they hit me at a good length because I'm short, I'm 5'2". So it's really hard for me to find pants. <laughs> so this is the outfit. I can't link this, but I can link this tee. It's so good, it's comfortable, comes in a lot of colors and it's just perfect for everyday wear. You can dress it up, dress it down. So this is what I'm wearing. I'm really excited, I'm gonna get an Aperol spritz and some pasta, so. I'll let you guys know how it is because it is new. So if you live in the Orlando area, I will definitely keep you updated on if it's good or not. So we're going to dinner with our friend and he wants a shot of espresso and I got this cup in Tulum, this Starbucks cup. Well, one, because it was pink and two, it changes colors when you pour liquids. So it's turning blue. Isn't that cool? The lid changes colors too. Very cool. so happy Easter. I'm gonna head to my dad's house for Easter to celebrate with my family and I'm currently doing my makeup and I just got this set of brushes. I've actually never ordered like a whole set. All my brushes are like random like this is Morphe like they're all just a random. I've never purchased a full set of makeup brushes because they can be super pricey but I got this set off of Amazon and it's under 40 bucks and it's a 14 piece set and it's literally like everything you need for your makeup. And I'm using them for the first time today. I'm so excited. They are so soft. I'll have them linked down below. It was really time for me to like get new makeup brushes. 
So I just wanted to share because I was really excited to use them. I haven't experienced like new makeup brushes in so long. So it's like so exciting. They work so well. Oh, I'm so excited. These work so well. So I'll have them linked. I'm going to finish getting ready and head to my dad's house. I'm also wearing this really comfortable robe from Barefoot Dreams. It's so comfy. I know it's starting to get into like spring and summer and this is like a really thick robe but it's so comfortable i got it off amazon and it's like 30 to 40 dollars cheaper on amazon so i got it off of there and it's really really good so i'll link this also down below i like it for the mornings in the mornings i'm so cold especially if i drink like iced coffee i'm like shivering all morning getting ready for work so it's nice to have this to like just throw over so I'm not like freezing anyways I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll have these linked down below they're really good so far and for the price you really can't beat it for like a full 14 piece set like eye brushes full face like it's everything that you need you really can't beat it and they're so soft so I'll have them linked down below but I'm gonna finish getting ready and then head to my dad's house okay just changed and put on this knit set. We're about to head out the door to my dad's house. This knit set, I got it last fall from Amazon. It actually is sold separately, but it goes together. If it's still available, I'll link it. It's just a little knit short set and then this sweater. And I'm just wearing just a tank top. Underneath, I can't even remember where this tank top is from, but I'm bringing stuff for a cheese board to my dad so i just got some stuff yesterday from publix so i got this vermont cheddar this borzen garlic and herb chipotle gouda some salami and then just some of these crackers so we're gonna head out i'm gonna bring this and then make a little board there Okay, just got home from my dad's house. I'm about to meal prep our lunches for the week. We're gonna do um, ground turkey. It's supposed to be buffalo chicken bowls, but we're gonna do it with ground turkey. So I'm gonna do it with some brown rice. Christian's gonna do jasmine rice, tomatoes, coleslaw, cucumber, and then buffalo sauce. I love the primal kitchen. And then you can also do ranch as well and you can mix the buffalo sauce with some greek yogurt to kind of um get a different consistency and add some protein to it as well i think i'm gonna do that too and then the ranch is optional and that's what we're gonna do for lunches this week just a little switch up um pretty easy just gotta prep these and keep them separate in different containers and then reheat the rice and ground turkey each day and then combine it all. So I'm gonna prep this now.
just finished prepping all of our lunches and then other foods that we just keep in the fridge um, for the week like pineapple and then I clean my lettuce but I have so many containers I ran out of little containers for these. I don't really have a lot of these. I put the buffalo and Greek yogurt in here and the slaw, cucumbers, and tomatoes in this. So I'm excited. I know that this will be good. We've never had this for meal prep before, but I've been trying to switch it up and try and find new easy meal prep recipes with different flavors than what we've like consistently had. So... I'm excited about this one. Okay, I just made a sleepy time tea. I'm gonna drink it, shower, and get ready for bed and the work day tomorrow. So I wanted to go ahead and end off this vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.